In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your project to stream out to two different destinations and also in two different aspect ratios. So you could send out one stream in a horizontal format and one stream in a vertical format. Now with your project set up, you see I've got one set up here and I have some 16 by 9 images here, some 16 by 9 scenes, and I also have some 9 by 16 mobile images in here as well that I would like to stream out to a different destination. For this example, I'm going to use YouTube uh, to stream out in 16 by 9 and Instagram in 9 by 16. Um, this could be any destination that you want to use, but I'm just going to use those two for this example. So first off, I'm going to open up the settings window here by clicking on the cog icon. And then I'm going to head over to the video tab and I need to change my base canvas size to be 1920 by 1920. And I'll change the output here as well. And just click apply. You'll see that that has changed the canvas size here so I can see both all of my 16 by 9 images and all of my 9 by 16 images. Next, I'm going to activate a mix. So I'm going to hit the advanced tab here and then I'm going to set one of these video and audio outputs to just be mix one. And you'll see that will initiate the mix one audio as well. Click apply. See that the mix has now appeared down in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to just click OK on here. What I'll show you that I've done there is if I click on the mix one here, this is what I'm going to use to send out my mobile images here. And now that I have changed my canvas size, you can see the entirety of those images there. So I'm going to leave that set up to stream out like that. My program will be on the image that I already had set there on this scene. So now I need to configure my actual streaming settings. So I'm going to hit the cog icon again to open up the settings window. And you see it takes me immediately to the stream tab. So both of these will be RTMP streams. So what I'm going to do is click add target. This first one I'm going to set up for YouTube. There we go. So I'm just going to call that YouTube stream there. So I'm going to put in the server URL and the key. If you need some more information on how to do this for YouTube or any other streaming destination, we have loads of videos and articles on our knowledge base. So I'm going to take the URL from here. Paste that in there. Back over for the key as well. and Pop that in there. OK, so that's all set up, ready to stream to. But what I need to do is change my video settings. So if you see the video settings here. I'm going to change the setting to custom. And then in the resolution, I'm going to put 1920 by 1080. And I am going to crop that. Obviously, make sure that all your settings are as you wish. This is all set up fine for me. So I'm just going to click OK. Now I need to add another RTMP target here for my Instagram stream. So I'm just going to put Instagram stream in here. And I'm going to pop over to Yellow Duck, which is what you use to stream to Instagram. So I just need to sign into Instagram here. There we go. So that has created my RTMP URL and key. So I just need to do the same thing as I did for YouTube, which is copy that URL, pop back over here, paste that in. And again for the key. Okay. So again, I need to change the video settings. So this one is going to be 1080 by 1920. Crop that. So the video I want is actually the mix, which I've set up already, and the audio settings as well. I'm going to change those to custom and I'm going to pick my mix audio as well, which is down the bottom here. Then click OK. I can apply that just to make sure it's gone through. Now my streams are set up and ready to start streaming. All I need to do when I'm happy is click Start Streaming. And you see I've got a little timer up to show that I am streaming there. I do the same with the Instagram stream. Now if I pop back over to YouTube, there you go, you see it coming through there. So that's live. You can see that I am now streaming to YouTube and the aspect ratio is correct. 
I'm going to pop back over to Instagram. So to start this one, you just need to start the broadcast. And there we go. Now that's live. You can see the green live indicator in the top right hand corner. Now I can't actually prove to you and show you that I am streaming to Instagram. You're going to have to take my word for it. But if it wasn't working, you wouldn't see this green live up in the top right hand corner. You just have to go onto your mobile application and have a look there. So that has just shown you how to create two simultaneous streams in two different aspect ratios. Once you're happy with your streams, all you need to do again is just stop streaming. Stop that one as well. And there you go, you have just completed two successful streams to two different streaming destinations in both horizontal and vertical format. Thank you for watching. You can access other instruction videos on our YouTube channel or by navigating to support.quicklink.tv.